Hey guys, this is Julia, and today in this video, I have an update to show you which keeps failing on my Windows 7 computer, which is like the Windows 7 partition since I have a dual boot going with Windows 7 and 10. But you can see this says that it's just optional update, which I don't know why it's not installing because it's just not working. I don't know what's going on with it. So I'm going to go to more information and show you what it is, which I know it's not necessarily needed, but the fact that it's not you know, updating is concerning, saying it fixes a problem with BitLocker that can't encrypt drives and it crashes, and this obviously fixes an important bug, it sounds like, so I want to still be able to update it since it sounds like it's something important about encryption and stuff. So, it says you can get the update through Windows Update. I've also tried the standalone installer. It didn't work either, so... Let's see, um, anything, yeah, let's see if it says any, like, see, it's just all this file info and things like that, just everywhere on here. But, anyways, let's go back. So, this is the update, and if, you, if I go to view update history, you can see I installed these other updates, but this one failed here which is the same one it failed up here three times and there's the update it looks different because that was the one with the standalone installer it always fails with the same air code 8000400005 so if I go to it it's where it says fix for this update I don't know so we'll go back and go to this one same error. I don't know why the other one had this on there. It's the same update. So basically, it will install. I'll show you what it does. And if you guys are having this error, please leave a comment and let me know if you're having the problem with the same update or if you got it successfully installed. So it's downloading the update, 0% so far. Now when it reboots, I'm going to have to record off my phone camera to show you guys what it does because it actually the update fails to configure is what happens it installs and has to reboot and reboots and it fails to configure and it reboots like twice technically so you'll see it's zero percent and I will pause this and come back when it does something else. Okay, so we're preparing to install and it's creating a restore point right now. So pretty soon it should be installing the update. Which I don't think it's actually creating one because it, I'm sure it already did the fact I've been trying to install this update like four times. So I doubt it's making one. See? So there it goes. It's installing the update which it doesn't take very long to show it installing until it has to reboot. It takes about yeah, see, like, like 10 seconds, I think. So, this thing is successfully installed. I'm going to restart and I'm going to start recording with my phone camera. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so we're going to restart. I had to hit restart. Logging off. Shutting down. <laughs> Preparing to configure Windows. Configuring Windows updates 30%. Here, it doesn't have an issue. It's when it reboots and tries to configure is where it has an issue. So there it goes, shutting down. I'm going to record when it's back up again to save time. Okay, so now it's preparing to configure Windows, which pretty soon it should be doing the configuring Windows updates thing. Okay, so now it's configuring. And watch, it goes really fast. It goes to the very end, and then it fails. See? Failure configuring Windows updates, reverting changes. It's really weird. It like does it at the very end. It fails, and now it shuts down, it reboots again, and I'm going to film when it's booting up again. Okay, so it's preparing to configure again, which, let's see what it does. Okay, so it says failure configuring again, which is weird. I think after this, it, it, it goes in Windows, and then it just says it failed, so let's see. Oh, it's shutting down again, which it didn't do that last time. 
the last time it it tried to update, it only restarted once, but it looks like it's gonna do it twice. So or it's like the what the second or third time it's done this. The third time it's rebooted. So I'll be back again. Okay, so preparing to configure. See what it does this time. I don't think it's gonna reboot again unless I got it stuck in a loop. Hopefully I didn't do that because that would be very bad if I got it stuck in a loop. I'd have to run a startup repair and hope that it fixes it, if that's the case. Okay, so preparing to, or not preparing, failure configuring again. Now hopefully we should get into Windows this time. I think we will. If it restarts again, that's a record because I never had it restart that many times. Let's hope I didn't get it stuck in a loop. That would be bad if I did. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, so I'm going to put my fingerprint thing in. Oh, look, like it took it the first time. That's good. Okay, so it's logging in. And when it logs in, eventually we'll have a message in the corner saying that the updates were not installed or something. Or something saying, yeah, they weren't successfully installed. Whatever the message is. So it's back up. It's just the fact that this update's not installing is kind of concerning me as I looked it up and it doesn't seem like anyone's having this problem with this particular update. But however, it's fairly new. It just came out yesterday. So um, leave a comment if you guys are having this problem. And, or, and if you are and you found a fix, please let me know what the fix was so I can fix it on mine. And any suggestions of what I should do to try to get this update to install. Please let me know. And note, I did run the Windows Update Troubleshooter and it did fix something. I will put a screenshot in now. And you can see that it did fix something. However, whatever it did, it still the update still wouldn't install and it still has the same error code. So pretty soon we are going to have this message, which I'm going to record when it shows up. Okay, so there's the message. It says Windows cannot install important updates. Or Windows could not, yeah, could not install. The computer was restarted to finish installing updates. Click to see how to fix this problem and install new updates. Okay, so I click on here. And it opens, opens up Windows Update. And again, there it is again. Failed. So, if you guys are having this problem, or have a way that may fix it, leave a comment so I can try it and see if it fixes it. And yes, I did run SFC scan now. It didn't find anything. I also ran the update troubleshooter, like I said earlier. And neither of them made, made it fix itself. Even though the update troubleshooter did fix something, it still wouldn't install, so... Um, anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys can help and we can, I can figure this out. And bye-bye for now.